All righty, everybody, welcome to Talking Real Estate here at Champions Real Estate Team at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Ambassador Real Estate Company. We're joining you live every Wednesday. We jump on, kind of talk about what's going on in the real estate market over the last week. Um, today, we're also going to touch on, you know, the new national builder that's coming to town or it's actually in town right now um, as we go through it here. So let's jump straight into um, the market stats here. So um, what we're seeing in uh, over the last week, we're seeing more inventory coming on the market at 499 new homes. Just to, couldn't quite get that uh, 500 threshold. I'm sure it probably is now but when I did the numbers about an hour ago. Um, 444, 441 new contracts written and about 576 sold homes. Um, so that's kind of on par with what we're seeing. Um, we're seeing more active listings coming on. You see after the 4th of July, people kind of coming back from vacations, getting their houses ready to rock and roll. Um, and then we'll kind of take a 30,000 30, foot view of the, uh, the market here. Let me jump on to the next one. So we have the highest amount of active listings that you can go take a look at today for 1,633 active listings out there. So we have not hit that 1,600 uh, mark probably in the last couple of months. Um, so that's good news to see there's more inventory out there. Um, when you break that down, about half of those are in Douglas and Sarpy County at 887 homes. Um, then we're sitting at existing homes, about 575 existing homes you can go take a look at today. And as well as new construction, kind of hovering right around that 300 ballpark. Um, months of inventory, about 0.9. So what that means, if we have zero houses come on the market, you know, here on out, we have less than a month supply of inventory based on the demand that's out there. Um, average sold price kind of hovering right around that, uh, just under 300,000. So that's up 17% from uh, June of last year, um, going through that aspect of it. So, you know, now is a great time to get out there and buy. You know, I've had conversations with clients that are, you know, thinking of moving, thinking of buying, you know, is now the right time? Are we in a housing bubble? You know, you know, is the market going to crash? All those kind of the worries that people have from the, the financial crisis we had in 2007, 2008, and how the market kind of played itself. I mean, if you've listened to our videos in the past weeks, we touch a lot on um, what's gone on, kind of this, the, the numbers behind all that. Um, don't want to get too in-depth with that, but um, listen to our past videos. We talk about that in, in depth in a lot of them. Um, but today we'll kind of touch on with Russ what's going on in the uh, uh, mortgage industry. And then after that, we'll touch on the National Builder who's trying to keep it short and sweet today um, as we go through. So Russ, how are things looking in the old uh, mortgage industry? You know, it's a lot of the same old, same old right now. It, it's fascinating. Mortgage rates are still as strong as they've been in 2021 right now. It's still a great time to finance a home, whether it be purchase or refinance. Uh, we're seeing more people taking cash out to make improvements to their home, partial because they haven't been able to win a bid on a new property to purchase. Um, gotcha. Certainly, as you've mentioned, Mark, and your team has mentioned, it's important. If you're looking at buying a home, you've got to have a plan. So uh, financing, if you're not paying cash, has to be a plan for that. So, you know, let us know if we can work with you on that. But interest rates are staying very strong. It's kind of an anomaly here because we've got, of course, inflation, which the Fed is still uh, um, feeling is, is transitory. Uh, inflation exceeds the interest rate on a mortgage, which from an investment perspective really uh, doesn't make sense from a long term uh, uh, in, a, in a long term perspective. But um, Assuming that we do come out the other side of COVID, we've got the Delta variant that uh, is, is hitting now, but assuming we come out the other side of COVID, uh, it's quite likely that once we see uh, whether or not any of this inflation is transitory or not, interest rates may rise. But in the short term, interest rates are staying fantastic. It's still a great time to finance uh, a home, whether it be to purchase one, renovate one, or even uh, just try to improve some cash flow. So really a lot of the same, Mark, um, but to the point of inventory, uh, who is this builder and what's going on? Yeah, Let's so uh, so yeah, we got, you know, they've purchased, there are three active subdivisions with DR Horton. So it is a national national company out of the Dallas-Fort Worth area. They are a publicly traded company. So they're in it to make money for their investors, obviously, like any public trading company or any company wants to make money. So um, what we're kind of seeing, what they're, what, you know, Vince Lisi is the broker here, the owner at Berkshire Hathaway. Um, he's met with their regional president, and kind of what their what their plans are for Omaha, where they're looking at it, what you know they are in in Des Moines, 
kind of a similar setup what they have there. So they're just bringing it here. Um, their goal over the next two years is to be the number one home builder. They want to build the most amount of homes. So, you know, if, you know, Celebrity Homes is the, is the largest builder right now. And so Celebrity builds 800 homes, they want to build 801. So, which is great competition, you know, helps, you know, the consumer because it hopefully keeps some prices down um, in that regard. So right now they are currently building in three subdivisions. Um, and I'll share their website here. Let me jump on. Um, so there are three of them that they have. Anchor Point Villas in Bennington. They have Pioneer View, which is in Papillion, and Bell Lago, which is in the Bellevue area. Um, you know, and Vince has met with their 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 corporate or their uh, their, their president, um, the the regional president. You know, they're looking. I know they've they've got a contract on land in Elkhorn as well. That was um, with Berkshire Hathaway. That has some of the agents have that listed. Um, they're looking in Gretna, basically anywhere in Douglas and Sarpy County or where they want to build. So you know, what price point are they going to kind of be at? They're going to be competing with that, you know, the celebrity homes um, that we have here in Omaha as well. Um, so, you know, I think they're probably going to be you know, around that 300 to 400 price point, maybe a little bit lower. Their lot sizes, what they want, you know, talking to Vince um, with the, the engineers that they're developing their land now are uh, about 50, 55 to 50 or 60 um, foot front, you know, the front width and by about 130, 140 um, feet deep. So, I mean, you're not going to be building huge houses on those, those size of lots, but they're, you know, their building model, um, from what Vince has told us and you know, talking to other agents is that once the foundation is in, they will have the home done within 90 to 120 days, which is, you know, they have a system in place. They come in, they build the houses, you know, when they're building in a subdivision, they just go across the street, zigzagging down that framing crew is just keeps moving right down the street. The thing, the reason why they are able to build them within 90 to 120 days is they've taken out the, the, the consumer, the customer's ability to essentially make selections on the home. You know, they're picking the granite, they're picking the countertops, you know, the carpet, the paint and everything. And essentially, the, you know, you see the house, you see the model, and then you kind of wait to what, you know, where you want your house to be. They're not doing lot selections. So you don't go meet, you know, with a, you know, a typical builder here in Omaha or celebrity or Richland or legacy, whoever you're building with, you sit down, you meet, the, you know, you get these selections. So that's why it takes eight months, six months to a year, you know, even when those, you know, mass produced builders are building homes, that's why those ones take a little bit longer. But if you're, if you eliminate that one element, um, you're able to do that. The thing that they also do in Arizona, uh, that they may bring here to Omaha, Vince was talking about this. They aren't sure if they're going to do this yet or not, but it's kind of like a lottery system. You say, hey, yes, I want to be in Bell Lago. Okay, well, we're going to be, you know, put your name on a list. And then as we go down the street, we'll call, you know, buyer one and they'll call them and say, buyer one, do you want house, you know, one, two, three, four Main Street? Well, I got to talk to my wife. Okay, well, you talk to your wife or your husband or your, your other, your significant other, and then they'll go on to the next buyer until they get someone that says yes. And if you come back before buyer two says it, then it's your house. You know, you, you know, get to, you know, you know, meet them, you know, within, you know, by five o'clock or whatever to, to get that contract written in that aspect of it. So how is this going to affect, I guess, the market here and what is it going to do? So last year, Douglas and Sarpy County, we built, you know, 2,900 building permits, give or take a few. And if they want to come in and build another 800 homes, you know, where's the labor, where's that aspect going to come out of it? So they're, you know, those framers and the, the plumbers and the electricians, they're going to pull from that. So that's going to, you know, potentially get prices going a little bit higher, even though that they are a systematic builder, you know, from the builders across the Omaha metro area um, through that aspect of it, they are paying retail prices for land. So the thing, when you look at the home prices, you know, regionally, Omaha is a very affordable city. You know, we're, we're less, you know, our average, our average sale price is less than Des Moines, Kansas City, even Lincoln a little bit, you know, and they're coming in and going, hey, we can, you know, build an affordable house. Land prices haven't gone up so much. So they're coming in, they're paying, they don't want to be the developers. So they're willing to pay, you know, the regional or the, um, the retail price of land right now. So inevitably, what's that going to do for the market? It's going to keep our market strong. You know, it's going to bring more inventory in for us, you know, for those, those, you know, kind of move up even first time home buyers and just that help that existing market. We're going to get more inventory, more houses because we need, we have the demand. Like we touched on before, 
The average age of a homeowner is 33 years old, birth years 1988, 1989, in that time frame. Every year after that, there's been more births per year. We're not building enough houses to have somebody like a national builder like this come into Omaha. I think it's going to be great for that supply and demand and still, you know, keeping those prices, you know, healthy for those that are homeowners and looking at that as their largest investment, possibly going into, into the retirement years and things like that. So um, I don't know if there's any questions that you have or thoughts that you have on that, Russ. Like I'm trying to think if I've missed anything. Um, so kind of in synopsis, they're looking at building anywhere in the Douglas Sarpy County area for the most part. Um, they do have three current subdivisions that they are building in, um, Bell Lago, Aspen uh, Villas, and what was the Anchor, uh, Anchor Point and Pioneer View um, on there. Sorry about that. But um, yeah, I mean, it's, I think it's exciting. I think it's going to be, you know, it'll be a little different for people not being able to go make their selections. But, you know, you go in the model houses, see their quality, you know, see the quality of home they build. If you like it, you go and see the house, you know, write the contract, you know, kind of and, and be done, you know, in that aspect of it, kind of streamline it. So I don't know what your thoughts are. Or I, you well, I think it different. certainly has the potential to be a very good thing for this market. Uh, you know, price points are rising very dramatically right now because we don't have enough inventory. Um, and we've talked about this before, Mark, that with the numbers that you show to start each of these, each of these sessions, we have roughly... 10% of the uh, inventory that we need to just meet the, the demand that's out there. So this could be a very healthy thing for the market. Yeah. And as, as agents, we've talked about this, you know, in our sales meetings amongst agents that, you know, who's the builder that, that if they can come in and, 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 you know, figure out that wheelhouse of building those homes that are even, you know, under 300, you know, and, and, and putting more of those out there to have those, those houses for people to go into, move up. I mean, it's just kind of a chain reaction going through. And I think it'll be a good thing. Um, and, and time will tell, you know, I think, you know, I might put a little pressure on celebrity to, 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 you know, it's just the competition, you know, which is great, you know, competition, you know, helps everybody out, you know, the consumers and, and, and even the companies as well um, in that regards of it. But um, yeah, if you have any further questions or need more information, reach out to me 402-672-7670. I'm happy to answer any questions. If I don't know the answer, I'll find it for you. You know, I'm not just going to blow smoke and, and tell you what you want to hear, but that's one of those things. If I, I, I have no problem saying I don't know the answer, you know, but I have the resources. Um, I actually called Greg Lemon yesterday, um, who's a Nebraska real estate commissioner, to ask him a question, you know, on a first name basis with him. So that's not, you know, I'm not scared or, or shy of, of finding the answer for you um, if I don't know it. So, but um, as always, we appreciate you jumping on here. If you have any questions about DR Horton, anything with regards to what's going on in the market, we do have, I do have personally two new listings coming up, one hitting the market tomorrow um, in Fort Calhoun. It's a great story and a half, four bedroom, two bath listed at 270. Um, if you're on our Facebook page, you'll see that going live tomorrow. Also have another house going live in La Vista, a fantastic two-story home, um, over 3,000 square feet listing at 375, um, just off the 96th and Giles, uh, or 96th and Harrison um, area there. So it's a fantastic house there. Um, large backyard, covered patio, all that good stuff. Um, but um, that will be going live on Friday. We just got pictures done today. Um, and then the one in Fort Calhoun will be going live tomorrow. Um, we also have one currently on the market at 125 South 36th Street, um, just north of Dodge by about a block or so. Um, that's a fantastic uh, house at 182. Um, it's just literally walking distance to the Crescent Moon. Um, and, you know, the whole Blackstone area, all that kind of fun stuff. So got some good three listings out there that are going to be, you know, going off the shelves here. So, but um, if you're listening to the video, you get a little sneak peek at it. And um, it'll be live active for showings on Thursday for the Fort Calhoun. And then on Friday, um, it's going live Friday. Showing start on Saturday. Um, they're actually having the movers because they're moving out of the house um, actually on Friday. So, but they just want to get it live on the market. So, but to appreciate it. Um, if you have any mortgage questions, refinance questions, anything in that sort, Russ Williams is your guy. Um, same thing. He's a wealth of information and, you know, he's going to you know, show you all the different products that are going to be best fit for you. Um, his number is 402-290-8936, Russ at WilliamsMortgageLLC.com. Um, yeah, message us here on anytime and I'm happy to help you. And uh, Russ, appreciate you jumping on with me again today. And um, yeah, if you have any topics or any questions or anything you want us to cover, 
you know, shoot me a text message, message us through Facebook, Instagram, all that kind of fun, fun stuff. We're on it all. So anyways, take care guys. Have a great weekend. Um, and uh, let's beat the heat this week. I said, it was supposed to be hundred degrees coming up here. So, but um, anyways, thanks guys. Take care.